Hello everyone, Big Game Hour here, back again with another How Much Will CEX Pay for My Collections. So we've basically just gone for all my handhelds, I don't really have many of each system to make it worth doing on its own, maybe the Game Boy, but I thought I'd just chuck it all in so we're doing the DS, the 3DS, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Collection. Uh, they're pretty much all unboxed, all of the... Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Obviously, the DS and 3DS are all uh, boxed up. Also, my complete DSi collection. Yep. Don't get too uh, worried about that. I've just put it in with a DS. There's only four games in total. But yeah, so. Yeah, this is probably one of the last videos I'm going to be filming in this house. There's a couple more I've got lined up I need to film. But yeah, this will be one of the last ones, or one of the last ones with some backing in it, because the next video could all be down. Like, uh, this side here is completely gone. I'll show you when I show you the DS collection, because I've moved it from that shelf down there, below my arm, whatever it is right there, up to there, so I could actually show you what was there. So yeah, let's get into what's there. But then there is some games that CEX did not take. I have a couple of Japanese Game Boy games, and... There's a couple of American ones, so... And for some reason, the Game Boy Advance. I've got, like, eight Game Boy Advance games. They only decided that they'd uh, sell three of them, so... Yeah, Game Boy Advance is uh, not one of their systems. If you want Game Boy Advance games, CX is not the place for you. But yeah, let's put in that footage now and show you the games on the shelf. So here is the collection, so we've got the DSi games there. Many DS games and 3DS games. That slims a lot of the collection down. There's some nice ones there. Got Turtles Arcade there. Got that gift from Feed Me Chicken. A bit hard to get that. Zoo Zoo Princess. A lot of the 3DS stuff I sold when they shut the store down and it all shut up in price. And then all my Game Boy games. Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance are all kept in here. Sadly, see, it's don't stop Spider Man 2, the only one I've got boxed. Although, it's seen better days. But yeah, that was the PlayStation show, as you can see. Uh, that's ready for the these games to be packed up, so yeah, the room is very slowly getting packed away. Yeah, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the games. But they, obviously, as I said, CEX don't take all of them, but that's most of them there. Which of these they do. Right, so this is the bit where I normally show you some games to look out for, what are worth some value or a good price to pick up as a bargain. But uh, for this one, I'm not going to do that because. There's five different systems here. I'm going to go through the value of each system one by one and how many games I've got for it. And then I'll give you a grand total at the end of all five of the systems. So yeah, let's uh, start with the DS. As that's the one I scanned in first. And that's the order I've got it in. <laughs> but yeah, we're starting with the DS. So I've got 20 DS games. Now, DS is alright. It's not one of them games that I play a lot of. Like systems I play a lot of. But yeah, I've got 20 games for it, so there's a couple of nice shooters on there that I don't mind playing now and again. But other than that, I've got some horse games, as always. Alright, so there's 20 games. So for them 20 games, if I was to go into CEX now and buy them, I'd have to pay £72. Uh, if I took them all into CEX, they would give me a voucher of £29.40. Or they would give me cash for £18.41, so... Yeah, it's like a quarter of the value, basically, in cash. Not very good. Although it's not the worst one on here. There's, a, there's, there's one that's a lot worse than that. And uh, if you've got any of these games, do not take them in. We'll get to that in a bit. Right, as for the 3DS, as you see, I only had four games there. Now, most of them I bought for like a pound or two in Argos. When they was on sale, they've still got the yellow Argos sticker on the front. But if I, took, if I wanted to go to CEX and buy them four games that I now own... It would cost me £18.50. Yeah. Surprising, ain't it? And they were just, you would have thought they were just shovelware, game, shovelware games I've got there. Not very good ones. 
if I took them in, they would actually give me a voucher of £10.60. So yeah, that's, that's not a bad markup. Or £5.60 in cash. So about a third, third of the value, not, not a quarter like the other ones. Uh, Game Boy Advanced. Now, this was a bit of a weird one, because obviously I tried to get all my games and put them in. And only three of them they had. And they're, fr they're three quite pricey ones, so... Yeah, if I took them three in, or well, if I wanted to buy them three, it would cost me £38. Yeah, £38 for three games. Quite a lot, ain't it? They would give me £19.30, which is just over half. And £13.60 in cash. So that's, that's not too bad, if I wanted a bit of cash. Although I'm not really going to get much for £13.60, am I? Right, now here's the surprising one. Game Boy Color. I've got 17 games for the Game Boy Color. If I wanted to go to CEX and buy them, I'd have to pay £73, which is quite a lot. Considering I'll tell you how much they buy them for. So, for a voucher, they will give me £24.30p. So yeah, that's about a third of the value right there. But if I wanted to get cash, this is where if anyone out there's got Game Boy Color games and thinking of trading them to CEX to get some cash from, forget about it. £12.10p and for £73 they make on it. So they're making over £60 out of you. It's quite a big, uh, quite a big jump now, isn't it? Right, and then... Game Boy games, so Game Boy games, I do like to pick up the more uncommon titles. There's a few shooters on there. There's a Turtles game that's like fifty quid. So yeah, it's quite quite a bit quite a bit of a uh, valuable games I got on the on the uh, Game Boy. I got a lot of first party Nintendo ones. They always hold their value. Right, so I've got thirty eight games for the Game Boy, and if I wanted to go and buy them. It's a grand total of £397, so over £10 a game on average. Now, if I wanted to sell them for a voucher, £189, so not bad, just just under half the value pretty much. That's not too bad at all. And then cash, £122.20p, so just under a third of the value. So not the best, but you're not getting as ripped off as much as the Game Boy Colour. So yeah, so in total, that is 82 games for a grand total worth at CEX of £598.50. But you'd know that if you were following along with your calculator. Uh, a voucher of £272.60p. And cash of £171.91p. So overall, not bad values. But definitely wouldn't be taking them Game Boy Color ones in, considering you're getting more cash back for £38 worth of Game Boy Advance games. So, half the value in price, yet they're giving you an extra £1.50 more in cash. So, makes no sense. But yeah, that has been my collection here of value of DS, 3DS, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. And uh, I'm going to get back to... Packing more of this room away. Not looking forward to this. But yeah, as always, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.